Our dearest friends and families, um, in the raw, Archaeus Guyana Free Media, and today, oh wow, Archaeus Guyana Free Media, in the raw. Let me repeat that. Here in my hand is a newspaper, Friday, January 8, 2021, the Kaicho News. And um, here it is that uh, Mike Mahika Mann tells court before he gets 56 years for murder. The only thing that I love, woman. He like woman. Some people are a maniac for woman. And sometimes they, they, they spend their time and waste their life with woman. So I just want to advise you all. All right? And here in this newspaper is an article of a jailed man, Foster Grave Zandi, and a murdered Courtney Porter. What a sad and horrific thing. His life is finished. 28 years before he can get parole, and a total of 56 years in jail after four is already deducted. So he got actually 60 years in jail and to suffer in prison for taking the life of a man and this passion of Guyanese people I've noticed and also around the world look what some people did to the state capital the capital building of the United States of America and murdered military cause a woman through their inaction to die who was a protester and policeman to die policeman to crush security personnel to be crushed because of the ego and the passion of one man here it is Locally, in Guyana, ordinary man destroying his life for total stupidity. So why am I reading this? Hoping to get the message out to somebody there who have a lot of passion and a lot of vexation. I like to chop and beat and so on, and many of them like to do it to women. But this is not the case of on a woman, but somewhat involves a woman. A 50-year-old man who underwent a trial and was convicted for murder by a mixed 12-member jury in the High Court was yesterday jailed for 65 years, my friends and family. Foster Graves Zandi, a father of three from Mahaika East Coast, Demerara, will be eligible for parole after serving 28 years in prison from now. The sentence was imposed by Justice Navindra Singh following the presentation of a probation report. Grevzandi's trial ended last December when he was found guilty of murdering his neighbor, Courtney Porter. The incident occurred on April 9, 2017. According to this newspaper report of the Kaicho News, Grevzandi had reportedly beaten Porter with a wood over an alleged altercation that the man Porter had with his wife. During the trial, Grevesandi maintained that he was not guilty of the crime. Prior to the sentence, Grevesandi's lawyer, Dexter Todd, appealed to the court for leniency. He asked the, the judge to consider that his client has a clean record prior to the incident, that he was a breadwinner for his family and an active contributor to the development of the community. The lawyer beseeched the court for mercy claiming that his client was, has the most remorse or regrets for what he did. Todd asked the court to consider that his client had been a model citizen prior to the incident and a model prisoner during the in incarceration awaiting trial. If given a chance, he is most likely to be rehabilitated and return to the society to contribute meaningfully. And this is what all the criminals, the bandits, uh, say they will change. And many times, I think this judge gave some money a very light sentence the other day. And they will change, and then they go back and do the same thing. Child mol molesters, thieves, bandits, criminals. They always say they will change, and they seem to think that we do should allow them to run amok. And if they're given a chance, imagine what they will do to innocent, decent people in the, in the society. Back to the article. When he, when he was granted the opportunity to address the court, Grevesandi expressed similar sentiments. He begged for mercy, noting that he has never been involved in any crimes before. 
It's very difficult for me. I'm punishing in prison. My family is hurting. My business is affected, and I cannot contribute to my community as I would like. I'm very sorry for the life lost, and I apologize to the family. I'm willing to contribute to them in any way possible. In other words, he's willing to bribe his way out of uh, a murder charge and probably bribe the family. Sorry, I'm not a bad person. What you see here, this is just me. The only thing about me is that I love women. Women, women, and they like women. He has a weakness for women. State Council Tariq Mohammed noted that while the accused appears to be giving the court reasons that warrants leniency, the case concerns the senseless killing of one friend by another. Imagine they know each other. The prosecutor asked the court to hand down a sentence that is suitable for the crime of the loss of a life. For the rest of his life, he has to be behind bars. He has to eat and sleep and do what he must do to survive in there. And that is like a jungle of terror all by itself, friends and family. <coughs> Justice Singh agreed with the submissions of state council. He noted that although the father of three claimed to be remorseful, he did not believe he was truly sorry about what he did. This was truly a senseless act. There is nothing to support your claims that this man assaulted your wife. Even your wife in her testimony could not back up your statements. You came into my court and lied to my face. I see no mitigating factors, mitigating mean areas in which you could consider and show some kind of uh, sympathy or so. The judge told Graves Andy before imposing judgment. He nonetheless deducted four years from the base sentence of 60 for time that Graves Andy spent in prison. So friends and family, for those of you people who have a serious attitude and have a way of liking to be passionate, and vociferous, and like to fight and beat as if there is no law in the land must know that this is a truly a no-no in Guyana. Friends and families, your brother, your friend, me, Haji, Dr. Ocean Khan, in the raw, saying thank you for tuning in to this, the RK is Guyana Free Media, and blessings, and peace, and a truly holy and wonderful new year. And to the opposition, Take your corner, hold the bowl in your hand, show that you're remorseful for all the wrong things you did by trying to steal an election and ask the government to give you some opportunity so that you can probably have a sheer governance sometime in your lifetime. I always believed that we need a national government. But when you have opposition like what we have today, it is an act that one has to be afraid of. So I can understand why the government might be suspicious of these people. They have to prove their point. Look at what was done to the Alliance for Change. Completely wiped out, destroyed, broken, turned into nothing. Imagine if you're to have a sheer governance with, these, with this grouping, what they will do to this country and to this government that's holding the power right now. So they cannot just jump and try to create some kind of a national dialogue with the opposition until they truly can show remorse for the debts they caused. And I think the government of Guyana need to find ways and means, words that were said by people overseas who were trying to create insurrection, who were telling them it was good to beat Indians and good to ban them for a couple of days and a couple of weeks and encouraging them to beat people and to murder them. Find the words in the conversations and in their videos I know they have been saved. Find statements in the media and locally from the opposition leader and the former president and others who were encouraging the beating and the killing and the chopping and the murder and the looting and the rapes of particularly, well, that they were being directed against indo guyanese Why? I don't know. Because the People's National Congress and the AFC has a tremendous amount of indo guyanese but they were directing the hate 
towards the bulk of the indo guyanese What a shame, what a sad thing for the, the People's National Congress have to face and to explain to the people at this time. Your friend, your brother, me, Haji, Dr. Ocean can say thank you and farewell, friends, for tuning in into this In the Raw, Arcage, Guyana Free Media.